Hello, and today we're discussing redness and the pulse dye laser, or PDL laser. So what is a PDL laser? It is a laser that treats only red. So you'll see the vessels here, it'll just treat those vessels. It's a specific wavelength, 595 nanometers, and it targets those blood vessels. It turns into heat, it damages the vessels, the vessels kind of crumble up and go away. So what can PDL treat? It can treat anything red, so rosacea, broken blood vessels, sun damage, we call this poikiloderma of Savat, angiomas, port wine stains, which are birthmarks, scars and keloids, stretch marks if they're red, and any red marks from acne. So are there other devices you can use to treat red? And yes, there are. One of the more common devices is an intense pulsed light or IPL. This is not a laser, this is a light, so it has multiple wavelengths. So it's less precise, it's pretty superficial in its penetration, and it treats multiple things. So it treats red spots, brown spots, it does a whole lot, but it requires more sessions. In contrast, what we're talking about today, the PDL is a laser. So it has one wavelength, it has one job. It does that job very well though. So you need fewer sessions to get the same outcome. And this is what we're talking about today. The PDL is a laser. Now you might've heard of V-beam. So what is V-beam? Basically, PDL is the generic version of the laser, and V-Beam is the brand name. It's manufactured by Candela. So PDL, generic tissues, tissue product kind of a thing, and V-Beam is brand name. It is Kleenex. So let's say you have something red on you that you want to get rid of, and you come in for a consult. So what happens? So first of all, we talk about your condition and whether it is treatable by PDL. We also look at your skin type if you are tan or not, which is very important. We also look at your medical history, what medications you're on, and we talk about how many sessions you might need. During your consultation, you may touch on this topic that basically there are two ways that we can use the PDL. Method number one is slow and steady. That's when we use more gentle settings. It doesn't bruise the skin or a lower risk of bruising, and you need about four to six treatments. And this way is low and slow. As, as you can see here, the vessel is kind of slowly getting smaller until it eventually disappears after, we'll say, six sessions. The other method is the get her done method, and that is when we use an intense setting that will likely bruise but you need fewer sessions, maybe between one and three. And as you can see here, the vessel is getting smaller, but we have these red blood cells. That's what you would see as a bruise, but you need just a few sessions. And this is an example of a woman who had purpuric settings or bruising settings. This is pretty representative of what the bruising would look like. All right, so let's say you had your consultation. We decide that you are the perfect patient for a PDL treatment. So what can you expect? Well, about a month before the procedure, you have to strictly sun protect the skin. You cannot be tan for this procedure because you may um, hypopigment after it or you may get some light spots after it. So it's very important to not be tan. About a week before the procedure, if you can and discontinue anything that thins the blood, like fish oil, vitamin E, if you take a daily aspirin, probably not. You probably have to continue that, but you'll bruise a little more and just discontinue any irritating topicals that may, you might be using. And now it's the day of your PDL treatment. So what happens? Well, first of all, just practically speaking, bring a hat for after your treatment, arrive to the office with nothing on your skin, and just make sure you have a mild cleanser, moisturizer, and sunscreen at home because you don't wanna to have to go to the store um, right after you have the procedure. So the procedure itself, what is it like? So you may or may not use numbing cream. It depends on your provider and where they're performing the treatment, but you'll put on eyewear. When the actual procedure starts, it'll feel like a rubber band snapping. And for a whole face, it may take five to 10 minutes to do that. So now it's after the procedure and what can you expect? So you will be red. This may last a couple of days. You may be warm as well. You're, you may be swollen as well. And especially the morning after your treatment, you may be especially swollen after lying down the whole night. And plus minus, you may be bruised depending on the settings that were used. And this is a typical example of somebody who, like we said, had bruising settings. And you can see as the day goes on or the days go on, the bruising slowly gets better. So, but you will have some downtime for that week or two after you've had the procedure.
And how do you take care of yourself during this time? Well, the first day you come home, you can use cool compresses if you like, just to reduce the swelling. Also, the skin is very delicate. You think of the skin as getting the, you know what, beat out of it because that's essentially what the laser does. So just treat your skin very delicately, gentle skincare only, and you can go back to your regular skincare routine just when you're healed up and you can tolerate it. So how often should you get this procedure? It depends on your condition. I'd say the average is about three treatments or so, but it's very dependent on your condition. You can get it done every two to four weeks. And as far as maintenance, new vessels may form and you may need touch-ups as needed. Also, let your provider know if you had any of the following. 